In this video, I'll be sharing my top tips on how to ace the UCAT exam. Hi, my name is Dr. Joshua Newington. I am a admissions consultant here with the profs. So the UCAT exam is by far the most common and most important medicine admissions exam in the UK today. It's uh, composed of various different sections and there is a misconception, I think, amongst people that it tests for some innate measure of intelligence, which is impossible to train for and impossible to improve. I can tell you from experience that uh, I've seen many students, and myself included, with proper thorough practice, improve their UCAT score. It's a very hard and competitive exam, and it can be a barrier to getting that really important medical interview. So it's really important to do your best to prepare for it. Luckily, there is a, a great deal of really good resources out there online. And my most important advice would be to practice, 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 and do as many questions as you can in the lead up to your exam day. How do you get the most out of practice questions? I always advise that people keep an Excel spreadsheet where they log every question they got wrong within each section and make a note of what the theme was that they were missing. For example, within abstract reasoning, there are many different types of pattern that you can be expected to recognize. But it is still a finite list. And with enough practice, you will see that there are common patterns that you weren't picking up on. And with careful note-taking and revision of that spreadsheet, you will start picking them up going forward and you will see your scores slowly but surely increase. The verbal reasoning section is a section that many students find the hardest to score well in. One of the best pieces of advice I offer is to start by reading the question before you've read the stem for these questions. This will prime you to look out for keywords within the stem and it will allow you to find the relevant information from a sea of unimportant information much more quickly. Once you've identified a keyword in the stem that was in the question, make sure you read the sentence before and after it so that you're not misled by the context that the keyword is found in. One of the hardest parts of the UCAT exam is the very tricky time pressure that you're under. And many students will miss marks simply because they run out of time towards the end. It's very important that within your training, within your practice, you're doing it under time conditions to get used to making decisions very quickly. And often it's better to leave a question and use that time, if the question is particularly difficult, to pick up more marks with easier questions down the line. Don't forget that every question is worth simply one mark um, and it's not worth investing more time in a question to simply get that one mark. Oftentimes, if you can eliminate options and get the answers down to a 50-50 choice, that will be enough to score highly in the exam. Don't forget, you don't need 100% to do well in the UCAT. Everyone finds it challenging. And the important thing is to play the game and to play the game within the time that you're allowed. If you're looking for more top tips on how to ace the UCAT exam, feel free to get in contact with our team using the information on the screen. Uh, feel free to like and share this video with your friends who may find it interesting. And if you have any comments or questions as to how to do well in the UCAT, feel free to drop them in the comment section below and we'll get back to you. As always, best of luck with your studies and with your admissions preparation.